Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. Let's do the whole darn weekend. Saturday, September 11th is Patriot Day and National Day of Service and Remembrance. It's also National Make Your Bed Day, National Hot Cross Bun Day. So it's kind Every of, day uh, should be Make Your Bed Day. Yeah, probably should be. Sunday, September 12th, National Just One Human Family Day, National Hug and High Five Day, National Video Games Day, National Chocolate Milkshake Day, National Day of Encouragement, National Report Medicare Fraud Day, National Pet Memorial Day, National Hug Your Hounds Day, and Sunday, September 12th, National Grandparents Day. So a lot of stuff going on this weekend. It's a somber weekend, too. It's the 20th anniversary of September 11th. So it's a a very somber weekend for many. And I was trying to decide who do I talk to for this weekend. And I decided I was going to just do something that would maybe be a happy, cheerful thing instead. Okay. There is a, a 55th anniversary of Family Affair on CBS. It, it came out 55 years ago, and I have Sissy joining me from that. Kathy Garver played Sissy on Family Affair, so we're going to be chatting with her this weekend. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. According to a new survey, 2,000 Americans, 4 in 10 of them, admit they get less joy out of vacations as an adult. I would say exactly the opposite for me. When I was a kid, we didn't go anywhere awesome. No, so. <laughs> but I mean, as far as like the whole wonder of a vacation and the excitement of yeah. it, because you've got to pay the bills when you're yeah, grown up. <laughs> matter of fact, 47% say that starts with packing. That's yeah. the least enjoyable. And 51% of respondents say that taking a vacation as a grown up means stressing about covering the cost of the yep. vacation. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. And a new study shows young adult marijuana users are twice as likely to suffer from a heart attack. So what they're saying is, don't do it. So there you go. I've got a link to that study if you want to read the details there. And a link to the other study there about the vacations. When I was a kid, we didn't go anywhere cool. So my vacations now are much better. Our vacations were just not far from our home. I mean, you know, we would go on trips to like a weekend hotel stay but honestly i thought it was the greatest thing ever it's true surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com do you have a credit card we'd like to help you get a better credit card if you don't have any credit cards we'd like to help you too at bettercreditcards.com we have credit cards that offer different things for different people some cards offer points some cards are designed to help you build your credit bettercreditcards.com wants to help you get a better credit card no matter what what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Uh, we've seen some bad parking jobs in our day, but this one might just take the cake. Uh, a man was arrested after his Lexus RX350 was spotted dangling over the edge of a pier. Oh, Pictures. Geez. From Facebook, show a maroon hatchback, a uh, driver door open, the front portion hanging perilously, oh, per- perilously, perilously over the edge. <laughs> Officers conducted a drunk driving investigation. They found that the uh, vehicle was parked very unusually, and it turns out the 38-year-old driver was under the influence. Yikes. So, yeah, he's Matthew Adams, Bel Air Beach. Faces charges of driving under the influence and parking under the influence, clearly. Not a good plan. That is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. After months of speculation, rumors, and even a leak, the first trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home is out. Marvel Cinematic Universe and Sony exploded the multiverse for the third Tom Holland Spidey flick. And yes... 
That is uh, Alfred Molina in the final scene, bringing back heavily armed villain Dr. Octopus for the first Ooh. time since 2004. Heidi's excited about this. <laughs> I really am. Uh, this <laughs> Spider-Man Far From Home is not going to be out anytime soon. They've got a little ways to wait before it'll be here, but uh, it sounds to me like it's going to be a pretty good show. So that'll be nice. Angelina Jolie has joined Instagram. Uh, says she's using that as a tool for her humanitarian efforts. She made the social media debut like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago now, sharing a letter she received from a teenage girl in Afghanistan amid everything that's going on there. The 46-year-old mother of six wrote, The people of Afghanistan are losing their ability to communicate on social media and express themselves freely, so I have come on Instagram to share their stories and their voices. That is wonderful. That really is. And she said, I will not turn away. I will look for ways to help. By the way, she's also in another story here. She feels traumatized from her marriage to Brad Pitt. So I don't know what happened there. I've got a link to that. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. New York Fashion Week will be back in person for the first time in 18 months after attendees, uh, I'm sorry, as attendees prove that they have been vaccinated to get in. Five-day event started on September 8th. So when was that? That was Wednesday. So let's see, Wednesday, one, two, three. So it's going through the weekend. Typically draws 230,000 people, by the way. Generates $532 million in spending from visitors. This is New York Fashion Week. But it's going to be about half the usual size. And organizers are taking pains to ensure the event will uh, be appropriate for the times we live in. So I've not paid attention to any of it. So if I've completely missed out on New York Fashion Week My invitation must have been misplaced. Mm. Cardi B is in the news. She has given birth to her second baby. So congratulations to Cardi B. Right. After having a $24 million diamond implanted right into his forehead, right up here, Rapper Lil Uzi Vert <laughs> says that some fans... You just sounded like the whitest person in the world when you read that name. <laughs> rapper Lil, Lil, Lil Uzi Vert says fans ripped out the $24 million diamond. Oh, well, that's not very nice. That's not nice. <laughs> That is just mean. Does he get... Did he get the diamond back? I don't know. That's a lot. That's a $24 that million dollar diamond. You're going to notice that. Um, in is he supposed to think that it's insured then, or I don't know. in a new interview, Chrissy Teigen says she has been sober for fifty days. Oh, I'm that's really nice. happy for you. That's awesome. That was me clapping, by the way. Abba, Not in a row, but you know, well, it's according <laughs> to this, ABBA, the band, you know, from the seventies, they're launching a virtual concert series featuring digitized versions of ABBA performing alongside a ten-piece live band. <laughs> that okay. sounds really interesting. And a new report claims TikTok is promoting sex and drugs to minors. That's fantastic, too. This is just full of good news today, John. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Kathy Garver, and we've got the anniversary of Family Affair, and it's going to be on not once, not twice, but like all weekend long, isn't it? That's right. We're going to binge on Decades TV. It's 55th anniversary, which is very strange to me, John, since (laughs) actually I'm I'm only 39. There you go. How it can be 55 (laughs) years is, is still a little, you know, incredulous to me. Well, this this is really neat, and people had a chance to watch you grow up on on television and movies. And is it is it kind of weird to have that happen, like growing up in front of the spotlight like that? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, and I I was like a little shy, 
and people would come up to me and say, oh, we love you on that show, and I didn't quite know how to react. And the first time I had to give an autograph, I said, well, why do you want my, my autograph? And then someone told me, says, it's okay. It's like you're giving them a present. So that made it all okay. So I like to give out presents and things like that. So, yeah, that was was fine. And and again, uh, this weekend, uh, 55th anniversary on Decades Network. This is really cool that they're honoring the 55th anniversary by having a whole weekend of this program. Well, we did so many episodes. It was on for five years. And it's kind of like... Uh, now they have the eight-episode shows that, that go in arcs, and so you start watching that one, then you want to see what happens in the next one. So especially when you binge watch, you can see, like, the, the children that were on the show, Buffy and Jody grow up from being, like, six, and, and then to uh, their, their changes and their height growth and their ability to say the words instead of saying Uncle Leo and going from a teenager and going into a young woman and all the things that they go through. And um, Decades is so good about doing this because the network itself plays like like classic television shows and is first with some original programming. And each uh, weekend they do have binge watching on a particular show like Mary Tyler Moore's show, <clears throat> excuse me, or Get Smart. But this is special because of the anniversary, and I also have my fifth book coming out on the 55th anniversary, which is Family Affairs Scrapbook. So oh, it's nice. um, coinciding with this celebration. Where do we find that? You can get that at kathygarver.com or uh, tvclassicspress.com, and nice. it is coming out this weekend. That's awesome. The anniversary. I will make sure to throw a link to that as well. I'm, fant- I'm I'm fascinated to hear that. That's really, really cool. Now, in addition to all of the fun stuff we just talked about on Decades, they've got all these other shows on there as well, and we're going to come back to that in a second, but you had a chance to do a bunch of voiceover work, and you've had a chance to be on the big screen in, in movies that are just amazing movies like uh, The Ten Commandments. Uh, when you had a chance to do the movies compared to the TV shows, compared to the voice acting, is there one of those that's kind of your favorite? I like to do television the best. I, I really do. Voiceovers, I mean, I've done like five animated series, and but it's in there and you don't get to use your whole body, and it's over quickly. I mean, movies can be just ponderous and take forever for them to light and to do this and that. And I happen to be a very energetic person, and I like to go in and do it and and have a result right away. So I I really like to do TV shows. I have one that's coming up that we are in the throes of about putting on called TV Dinners. Hmm. And it's, um, it's a cooking show, but it's a lifestyle show, which I will host. And take like TV dinners. Um, remember the, the oh, aluminum yeah. tray? Yeah, yeah. And they actually still have some, but we're taking them from like um, Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes and peas to something a little bit more healthy. So. Well, Friday was National TV Dinner Day. How fun is that? I know that yeah it was oh just God. september 10th is national tv we were just talking about it and we were having a little trip down uh, memory lane of back when we were having tv dinners so i'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that show what network is that is there is that already kind of figured out or you're working on all that right now we're working on that right now we've done the pilot we have the money so now we just are, are working out the deals as to how we're going to distribute and syndicate it okay. we're going to keep our eyes peeled for tv dinners thank you for taking the time to chat it's been a lot of fun so much, John. And again, this weekend, big weekend on the Decades Network. We're going to throw a link to all of the information so you can find it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In a room with 23 people, there's a 50% chance of two of those people having a birthday that's the same day. Oh. 
Now, if you bump that up to 70 people, what do you think that the odds are? I don't know. 99.9%. Whoa! If there's 70 people in a room, 99.9% chance at least two of you have the same birthday. Okay. So, do we know 70 people? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, we probably do. I, I do think that would be kind of neat, though, to to be in a room with, you know, 23 people and yeah. find out. What, what are the odds? This, this should be a pretty good 50% chance. That is today's fun fact. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you, too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, RadioTravelGroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Vietnam. A Vietnamese man was sentenced to five years in prison for breaking COVID restrictions. Oh, goodness. When he did it, he infected eight people with COVID. Okay. According to Vietnam's uh, province, they convicted a 28-year-old man, Lee Van Tri. Uh, it was a one-day trial. And again, he was sentenced to five years in prison. Five so, years. Yeah. So I don't know how they know that he was the one yeah, that exactly. sent him. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure how all that works, but... Either way, interesting story. That is a news headline from somewhere in this world. At weirdgiftoftheday.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. Weirdgiftoftheday.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. This was almost today's moment of dub, but it's just so weird it had to ha- had to land here. After stealing armfuls of clothing from a Tommy Hilfiger store, 23-year-old Ramira Johnson and a female sidekick ran out of the emergency exit and fled in a Cadillac Escalade driven by a male accomplice. Following an alert issued for the SUV, police pull a vehicle over a couple hours later. And they found four Tommy Hilfiger shopping bags stuffed with clothing in excess of $750 worth of stuff, by the way. Hmm. Uh, 26-year-old Akila Hoffman and the the other lady that we already mentioned were both wearing a bunch of Tommy Hilfiger clothing, by the way. (laughs) They were arrested. Um, They were... They said they offered her $50 to participate in retail larceny. So she's trying to say that... Somebody paid her to... I did this because somebody told me to do it. Uh So anyway, I don't know what happened exactly. They acknowledged that they saw the merchandise. The driver did. Said, I saw it, but I didn't know they stole it. Yeah. Typically, they run out the side door and jump in the vehicle that's waiting. So anyway... Everybody was arrested, charged with burglary, grand theft, and retail theft. All felonies, by the way. Just a very bizarre story. Like I said, could have been today's moment of dub, but instead it is today's Weird News. Brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for your moment of dub. Brought to you by BetterResultsAdvertising.com. An Illinois woman busted Saturday for allegedly using a phony COVID card with a glaring typo to try to travel somewhere. The card submitted online to Hawaiian authorities by 24-year-old Chloe Marozoic. She had misspelled Moderna on her (laughs) card. And they're going, uh, you didn't really get the the, the shot. She goes, no, 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 I got it. I I did. Here it is. Anyway, turns out uh, that was the tip-off. Then they used that card to try to track down her actual information, like her, uh, what do you call it, health records? Sure. And nothing showed up. Nothing there was nothing. Existed. The fraudulent vaccine card claimed that she was vaccinated. Officials found no such record. She got uh, arrested. Two thousand dollar bail, by the way. On and where was this? That was she was flying into from Illinois, flying into Hawaii. Oh, falsified, so Hawaii needed the yeah, documentation. She falsified vaccine documents, and that is a uh, it's an offense, and she got huh. arrested for. It. So don't try that. It's a it's a bad idea. It's today's moment of duh. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. 
This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Heidi. It's your turn, man. Yeah, it's always my turn. Step up. Okay. Here we go. Bear River at Wallen Lake in Boyne Falls, Michigan. It's a lot Good going Lord. on there. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Bear River Bear at Wallen Lake. River is a rehab center. The answer is rehab there center. There we go. I'm There's back, There's a lot going baby. on there. Yeah, you are back. There, yeah, that was a little too much. I'm for, pretty sure uh, I wouldn't have gotten that, by the way. <laughs> I've been you don't guessing, think so? Yeah, it just sounded like a golf course to me. I don't. That is a fun game, by the way. I don't know why I love it so <laughs> I liked, much. I liked uh, fake I know, news or Florida better. But this one's better. This one's better for everybody. We can all play along. We can all have fun. <laughs> all right, coming up, we're going to get some good news. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. There are a lot of people that are still struggling because of Hurricane Ida. And this is a really cool story. A live music venue is serving meals to New Orleans residents without power. So this venue in New Orleans uh, typically is a place to go to listen to some awesome music. It's called Howlin' Wolf. Okay. Uh, Howie Kaplan owns the Howlin' Wolf, a live music venue. And right now he says, uh, we take care of each other. I think in a way nobody else does. Uh, local restaurants and markets that were unable to keep their food, have they couldn't keep it cold because there's no power. They right. donated it by the truckloads to the Aww. cause. And he said, we didn't even think about it. Uh, he said, we just jumped in and started, you know, started cooking uh, for the cause. That's just what we do. Right. People were in line for food. And he said, they're not just families uh, of people who live by. There's National Guard troops that are here that are hungry. Right. There's oh, police officers wow. who are here helping. Utility workers who are here helping. He says, right now, this is not about money. This is about making sure people are taken care of and making sure we can get the word out and making sure people recognize Love just that. how important the New Orleans family really is. So I think that's really cool. And, I and do too. again, it would be wonderful if there was no issue and we didn't have to worry about it. But, you know, that happened. Uh, Ida happened and, and you know, not just there and, and other places too. And, and this is one story of probably thousands that we'll never hear right. of people stepping up and helping out. So I love the fact that this, that's what this is. And again, I guarantee you there are stories that we'll never even hear of because there are a lot of people who help quietly. They're but they always help. helpers. If you can help, do that. It is just an amazing thing to be able to step up and help out. So if you'd like to know more about what's going on there, again, I do have a link to that story. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.